Hi, my name is Kestitis, and in this video, we are going to learn about web design versus web development. Let's get started. Web design and web development. You might have heard these terms used to describe the process of creating a website. But what's the difference? Simply put, Web design focuses on sites' visual elements and usability. This includes the site's colors, navigation, and information flow. Web development, on the other hand, is the behind-the-scenes process of bringing a website to life using programming languages. Both web designers and developers work together to create a visually attractive and functional website. However, they have different responsibilities and use different tools. Let's cover these distinctions in more detail. Let's start with web designers. A web designer is responsible for creating the website's layout. They choose and organize design elements in a way that's not only visually pleasing, but also optimizes the user experience. This includes determining which color palettes, fonts, and images to use. They decide whether to apply curved or geometric lines and how much white space is enough to create a balanced look. When creating a site, web designers also make sure all visual elements are consistent in style. Whether they work for one company or offer services for multiple clients, web designers keep in mind the brand's identity and convey its message visually. They know that even the smallest detail will affect how users think and feel about the brand. More than aesthetics, a web designer should have a good grasp of information architecture. That is, how to structure and organize website content so visitors can access information as quickly and easily as possible. Ultimately, the goal of web design work is to make visitors stay longer on the website. If they spend too much time clicking on link after link, but still can't find the information they're looking for, users are more likely to leave and visit another site. Here's where a web designer comes in. They figure out how to present information in a well-structured and logical manner. They can do that by identifying the common characteristics of different content types and grouping similar information objects together. To help visualize how the information is structured, web designers create wireframes, which are the basic outlines of the site's interface. With a good information hierarchy, a site's navigation will be much smoother. As a result, the web design will be effective and user-friendly. Another factor web designers should consider is how visitors interact with the website's interface. This is known as interaction design. To create the desired user experience, a web designer needs to plan an engaging user interaction and solve user problems with visual cues. Let's say you want to inform users about a certain design feature's functionality. As a web designer, ask questions like, will using a certain color help? Is the size reasonable? And what can a user do with their cursor to interact with the feature? An example of a unique interaction design is the GIF Finder tool from Virtual Home Collection. It is an interactive product catalog to help users find the perfect gift based on interest, color, or price preferences. To discover the product's details, visitors can simply click on one of the user-triggered icons. It will then present the product name, category, and price. To test the site's usability beforehand, web designers create prototypes, which are interactive mockups of the website. This process is crucial to detect flaws and ensure everything works before moving on to development. Combining creative and analytical skills, web designers are able to produce an attractive and user-friendly site layout. Depending on the company size and budget, the responsibilities of a web designer can be handled through separate roles. Meaning, it's possible to take on the role of a dedicated visual designer or interaction designer. If you're interested in web design work, check out our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to become a web designer. Now, let's talk about web developers. The main responsibility of a web developer is to build a functional website using different programming languages. Some developers focus on the site's front-end, which is the site that users directly interact with. A front-end developer codes the visual aspects of the website interface, such as buttons, layout navigation, and animation. They use web programming languages like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, all the while following the web design created by the designers. They ensure the design renders accordingly on various browsers and devices, 
and that the website works properly for any user interaction, whether it's playing videos, filling out a form, or clicking on a button. Since they need to consider how visitors can achieve the desired actions on the website, front-end developers are usually well-versed in user experience. On the other hand, a back-end developer handles server-side development, which is the part visitors can't see on the website. A back-end developer writes the foundational code that allows the website to process user requests made on the front-end. Some of their tasks include developing the website architecture, writing APIs, creating libraries, maintaining databases, and troubleshooting. So, Backend development requires extensive knowledge of server-side programming languages and frameworks like Java, Python, C++, Ruby, and Node.js. With advanced programming skills, backend developers make sure all website elements work properly from behind the scenes. Finally, full-stack development covers end-to-end -end web creation. Well-versed in various programming languages and frameworks, a full-stack developer can develop client and server software meaning they can create a website from scratch, design it to be responsive, and fix any issues. Most full-stack developers start with either the front-end or back-end development, and expand their skills from there. Due to their broad knowledge and expertise, a full-stack developer is considered a great asset to a company. So, this profession is incredibly sought after. If you want to learn how to get started in web development, we have a complete video tutorial here on how to become a web developer. To carry out their daily tasks in designing and developing websites, both web designers and developers use different tools and frameworks. To create the site's layout, web designers use visual design software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Figma, or Sketch. They might also use photo editing tools like Adobe Lightroom to polish website graphics. Web designers should also know their way around content management systems like Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress. Other than that, sites like Dribbble, Behance, and Awards are great for gathering web design inspiration. In contrast, developers need to master the more technical aspects of website creation. To build a site interface, they use code text editors, a command line interface, and version control software. A few examples of the tools that developers are using are GitHub, Chrome Developer Tools, and jQuery. Front-end developers must be well-versed in web programming languages, including HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Plus, learning frameworks like React.js and Node.js are important to build a site's front-end. For back-end development, programming languages include Python, PHP, Ruby, Java, and C++. Meanwhile, the frameworks used may include Laravel, Django, Ruby on Rails, or Spring. On top of that, backend developers should know how to work with databases like MongoDB and MySQL. They should also be familiar with servers like Apache and Nginx. Now that we know the scope of web design and development work, let's recap the differences and similarities between the two. While both web design and web development share the same purpose of creating an attractive and functional website, they have different focuses. Web design concentrates on how the website looks and feels to visitors. Meanwhile, web development focuses on building and maintaining a fully functional website. Both web designers and developers need to master programming languages, but at different levels and for different purposes. Web designers don't necessarily need to know how to code. However, having a basic understanding of programming languages and how to translate designs into reality is ideal. That way, they can realistically consider the limitations of the website design. On the other hand, web developers must master advanced programming skills. More than that, they should know how to maintain databases, develop server architecture, and write APIs. Lastly, web designers and developers work with different tools and also have different levels of income. On average, web developers tend to earn more than web designers. But keep in mind that the salary of a web designer and a web developer will depend on a lot of factors, such as location, experience, clients, and skill sets. So, which one should you choose for your career path? If you're someone that's creative, likes graphic design, or enjoys solving problems using visual elements, then web design could be for you. 
Alternatively, if you are a person that's more analytical, likes data, or enjoys figuring out how machines work, then website development can be a great choice. As a web developer, you will spend more time behind the scenes with web servers and code editors. Since these roles are closely related, you always have the option to try both and see which one is right for you. Although both relate to website creation, web design and web development are different. A website designer creates the website's look, whereas a web developer codes the design into a functioning website. Which one do you think you'd enjoy more? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like. And hit the subscribe button to see more web design and development content. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey!